Have you ever wondered just how many times Adler pushed Elster down the elevator? Well, there may be a way to find a rough estimate, or at least I've made some sort of way to figure it out. Today, we're going to try and figure out that number. <laughs> to start out, we're going to need to figure out a few couple key things. Number one, how much space is filled by Elster, and two, how much space does one Elster fill? To pull this off, we're going to have to do a lot of math. Step one, we need to find out how tall Elster is in pixels, and this is rather simple. We can measure her to find she is about 230 pixels tall. With this knowledge, we can now figure out how many centimeters are in a pixel because we know how tall Elster is from the replica overview page. She clocks in at around 178 centimeters tall. This estimates that each pixel is around 0.77 centimeters in actual measurement. With the pixel length found, we need to measure the height of the elevator. The elevator is 324 pixels, and if we measure upwards, we find that the height of the floor is 384 pixels, finding that the elevator door is just around 250 centimeters tall, or right around 7.5 feet, which happens to be just big enough for Falk to fit, which to me reaffirms that the conversion thus far seems correct. However, now we gotta figure out something about the interior of the elevator. Seeing as this part of the game is in first person, we're gonna need to do some conversions. To figure this out, we're going to use the following facts. First, the elevator's height is at 3,388 pixels in first person. But seeing as the elevator door we see is only slightly taller than Elster, we can use these facts to calculate the conversion between the two. So roughly one third person pixel is equal to approximately 6.03 first person pixels, or 6 for the sake of convenience, which in turn converts to 0.77 centimeters. Using this conversion, we can find the base of the elevator. It's 1,010 pixels by 1,010 pixels at its widest, which would give us dimensions of the shaft. This finds a dimension of 1.02 million pixels. Dividing this by the conversion of 6.031, we find 162,142 third-person pixels, which can then be multiplied by 0.77 to find 130,239 centimeters squared, or around 13 square meters but we aren't done. We now need to figure out the distance between levels. Watching the animation of the elevator, we can observe that the size of the gap is around the same as the size of the window, which we can measure as being 730 pixels in first person, or 93 centimeters. We can now combine that distance with the size of the first floor, which is 295 centimeters plus 93 centimeters, which results in 388 centimeters, or 3.88 meters being the entire height of our pile of dead ulsters. Now, using the height, we can multiply by the size of the base to find the full volume of the stack, finding it to be equal to around 50 meters cubed. With this information, we can now return to Elster. There are two ways to find Elster's volume, and luckily they both give us quite close answers. The first way is to take the average volume of an adult woman and adjust it for Elster's height. This finds a volume of 0.67 meters cubed. The other way would be approximate Elster into a cube. This would be done by assuming that she, when she is crushed beneath variant versions of herself, she's generally going to assume a very condensed body mass. This new cubed version of Elster's volume could be found by taking the width of Elster's shoulder and her height and multiplying them together. And finally, taking the width of the top of the head, which can be found from the dead Elster's. Doing all this work, we found a final solution of 0.63 meters cubed, which then is very close to the other approximation, which is reassuring for both approximations. To finalize, we need to take these approximations and divide the filled elevator volume by them. This will return to us the number of dead Elsters. Trying the first approximation, we get a result of around 75 dead Elsters. And trying the second, we get 79 dead Elsters. Either of these results are very damning for El Adler, truly shining light on just how many times he killed Elster. And yes, we had a pretty good visual estimate just looking at it, but this is definitely reaffirming that he is kind of insane. I hope you all enjoyed this. I know I did while I was working on it, and I'm happy with the conclusions I found as a result of all this. If you like this type of content, feel free to subscribe or to join either my main Discord link below, the unofficial Signalis Discord, or the r Signalis Discord, which are all linked below. They're awesome places, and I enjoy all of them. So if you want to find some people to talk about Signalis to, check them out. But for today, this has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all next time.